Bedtime with Mrs. Honeybee. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Lego. All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. Mrs. Honeybee will be your guide. Let's begin. The Lego blocks are smooth and hard under your little fingers as you carefully snap them together. You're in the middle of a big cozy room and there are different Legos laying all around you. Red, green, blue, and yellow. You've been playing with your Legos for a while now, and you know how to build lots of different things. There are three Lego men on the ground next to your creations. When you hear a bit of a whisper. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Suddenly, one of the Lego men blinks his eyes and looks right at you. He's alive. At first, you are shocked, and you jump back quickly realizing that the Lego man just came to life. You blink a few times and rub your eyes and look back down at the Lego man. You pick him up curiously and look closely at him. He's light and small in your palm, he gasps. We need your help. Before you can say anything, the Lego man lifts a plasma ray and points it right at you. A shimmering light surrounds you. You close your eyes tight. The light is warm as sunshine and you feel it envelop your whole body. When your body starts to cool off and you open your eyes again, you are the same size as the Lego man. He shrank you with his special ray. Can you please help us? He asks. You're confused. You slowly say, help with what? The Lego man points across the room. You squint your eyes, peering over the floor. The lights overhead are as bright as the sun. And when you're this tiny, the room looks very big. You spot a Lego bridge that has been knocked over. A few pieces are laying on the ground near it. We are going to finish building the bridge, explains the Lego man. Can you help us carry these Lego blocks all the way over there? You nod your head earnestly. You love to build things with your Legos, and this will be a special adventure. You pick up a shiny blue Lego block. The block is heavy and cool as you hug it against your chest. It feels a little heavier now that you're so small, but you can still carry the blocks pretty easily. You follow the Lego man across the floor. Your footsteps make a light tapping against the ground. You make it to the bridge and realize the problem. They need more bricks. Thinking quickly, you remember a small Lego wheelbarrow that's been sitting under your bed for years. You turn back towards the bed and say, I've got just the thing to help us. You return with a wheelbarrow full of new Legos and one after another, you're able to slide the blocks into place. The blocks click nicely into the bridge. The Lego men around you give a satisfied nod. That's perfect. <laughs> we just need a few more. The Lego man laughs and hops into your wheelbarrow. Yeah, <laughs> push me. He says, as you both race over to pick up more bricks. When you arrive, he hops out, and you both stack the wheelbarrow high with the final pieces you need to fix the bridge. After carrying a few more blocks over, you've finished the job. You are the best, says the Lego man. He grins at you happily. 
You really helped us out. Thank you. You smile at your new Lego friend, but you can't help but wonder how you're going to get back to your regular size. It's very late and you're getting very sleepy. Seeing your curious expression, the Lego man points at your bed. When you wake up in the morning, you'll be back to normal size. You nod and walk over to your bed to gaze up at it. Since you're still very small, you can't quite reach it. You look around at the blocks still on the ground and realize that you can make a bridge up into your bed. You begin to pick up stray blocks. First, you pick up a smooth red Lego block and set it down on the floor. You add more and more blocks, building your way up higher and higher. Before you know it, you've built your bridge all the way up so you can get into bed. You snuggle up into your blanket, noticing how soft and cozy it is. You feel nice and warm as your head rests against your cool pillow. Slowly, your eyes begin to close and you still have a happy smile on your face. Today, you helped your Lego friends build a bridge. You slowly close your eyes and imagine what adventure you'll have tomorrow with your little Lego friends. Always remember that Mrs. Honeybee believes in you. You are special and you are loved. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs>